the internet, are you? Hi, yeah, hey, I am. Hey, you are? I am. To their house internet? Can you guys see us okay? Are we good? We're in a, we're in Podunk, Toledo. Ohio. Ohio. I look like a lizard person tonight. Michelle looks like a lizard person. I got Pete Davidson eyes. It's the only thing, you know, I look like Pete Davidson about, but I got the Pete Davidson dark circle Beetlejuice butthole eyes going on here and it's not a good look i just haven't got a ton of sleep i do like like, look like a lizard person i think you do yeah oh god (laughs) people are gonna have conspiracies about you now is michelle a lizard person it'll be all over youtube (laughs) and like 14 people might watch it my eyes are hardly open (laughs) so yeah so michelle how was your week great because guess what, how many days you worked? Three days. Three days. Well, two and a half. Yeah. So, what? 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 So, what was our week consisted of this week? Um, I worked, and then we came down here on Wednesday. Yeah. And so we've been hanging out with my family since Wednesday. Mm-hmm. It's been a really good time. Uh, we are in Toledo, Ohio. Mm-hmm. Never. I've never. I've been here, but I've never like. Yeah, we've never stayed, stayed for here. any point, any part. So. Um, we're just sitting in the driveway of the house we rented yes do you want to kind of maybe show them well i, I guess mean, my can. windshield is dirty oh there's the house there it is <laughs> yep there's the house guys it has a pool hot tub we did get it the hot great. tub the stairs were precarious for the hot tub to be honest um this has to be at an angle like it looks like we're yeah crooked, but, we're not crooked but um yeah the stairs for the hot tub yeah we oh, made it. were rickety for me, but, but the, the pool, pool was great. nice, cold, but no. Nice. It was cold the second day. You didn't get in, but no, it was way warmer. I said, nah. I, I was went, froze all night, dude. So yeah, I, I said, kept no. It warm. Yeah. So I hope uh, I had a good week. I did while I was here. Um, Friday and today, we did go to Goodwills. I did source, and I did buy a bunch of stuff. Plus, I went to the big man store. That's how I get my clothes. Of course, I'm not big. And I got me a couple of new shirts for just whatever, cruising and stuff. Some shorts. So, yeah, I was mm-hmm. happy about that, too. So, we did a lot of good stuff. Yeah, we had lots of fun. We hung out with family. Yep. Uh, grilled out. Yep. We and Jess cooked dinner our one meal, night. Our meal to prepare was hot dogs, hamburgers, and Michelle made us two really good pasta salads. Baked beans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah the baked good. beans were killer, Michelle. Yeah. Thanks. You did a great job with those. So, yep. She put hamburger and bacon in them. And it was good, dude. I like. I think I like sausage better. Better. I yeah. think that's how my grandma does it. But I really like the way you did it. Okay. So Wait. I will say that I like both ways. <laughs> so if so you haven't checked doing. out, Michelle did put a short out called Bob RQ short. No, Bob B. Oh, Bob B Q. Go check it out. What did I say? Bob, Bob RQ. RQ. <laughs> Uh, Mike Loveless hates that short, but it don't matter. It did really good. So, <laughs> and, um, then, and then one guy commented on it about 35 times. Maybe he's here. Oh, hi. Dylan. Hi, barbecue. Um, so yeah, cruising, man. There's a lot of, there's a lot to talk about with cruising. Uh, we have a lot, um, our new group, one of our new group experts, uh, uh, for our chan for our Facebook page, Steve Moriarty. I don't know if he's here or not. Moriarty. Um, we made him a group expert. He's really contributing a lot to our Facebook yeah. page, and it's really awesome that he's doing I that. I think since we made him a group expert, though, he hasn't done it. Oh, well, now he's like, wait a minute. I don't <laughs> what did like... I sign up for here? <laughs> no! <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, tonight is a lot. <laughs> tonight is a lot. Oh, I got a new shirt on. Oh, check out Michelle's new shirt. Can you see it? Stand I out. Can't. I can't. I can't. Oh. And I still got my, oh, this is one year ago today, part two of Stranger Things was released on oh, Netflix. Oh, dang. So this is, um, Reminiscent. yeah, of that. I can't remember what his name is right now, but I said Steve, but it's not Steve. I know, I was thinking Steve too. Oh, God, what was his name? But yeah, so there's a lot to talk about with cruising and, um... Listen, we don't like to cruise in the summer, but no. next summer we will be cruising. Yes. Who, who here likes to cruise in the summer months? Let us know. We do not. We we do not like to cruise in the summer months. Too many families, uh, kids mainly, too, too hot too and hot. too expensive. Yeah. Those are the three things why we do not cruise in the summer. We're only going to 
to Alaska next year in the summer. Because right, because that's the best time to go to Alaska. Time. Right. Caribbean, we strictly like to go when it's cold, when in, it's Michigan. cold in Michigan because it just makes sense for us. Yeah. Um, so our title of our video is what matters most to you on a cruise. Yeah. And that's one of the things is planning it the times that we really like to go. That's the number one thing for us. Planning right. Planning it. We like to plan it when we like to go. Wait, what are they doing to the car? I just saw the lights go off. I don't know. Somebody's having a, but yeah, we like to plan it when we like to go. And yeah. that's part of it. Um, I know some people are just like, oh, whenever I can get on, I can get on. But for us, it's usually I mean, not to like be that. Fair, we haven't taken a summer cruise to Caribbean. No, we have not. But I don't think. I mean, we have taken one. When though? Closest it was April. April and September. Beginning and it, of September. Right. April was bad. Yeah. So let me say highs and hellos. That's what I'm getting to oh, right now. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna say some highs and hellos. So just Cody is here. Dina Shanita. Meds Hi. and C's is here. Kim Taylor. Tony G1975. Lovey said is here. That's our good pal Lovey. Epic thumbnail. He liked our thumbnail. Oh, that's did you guys bad. like the thumbnail? My teeth are uh, messed up. Uh, William Hanson Jr. is here. Hey, hey William. He, we met him on the Legend. Very he nice. Did. Very nice. Billy J said Josh has Betty Davis eyes. Billy J likes my eyes. I think. Betty. Who's Betty Davis? That song. Betty Davis eyes. <laughs> That song. I don't know that song. You take it. And you see it. Is it by Rod Stewart? No, but it, the woman sounds like Rod Stewart. <laughs> you sound like yeah, the woman sounds like Rod Stewart. I always thought it was Rod Stewart growing up, and then, no, you, I learned it's not. You sound like Rod Stewart. And it's it. And it's so it. Um, they just said, ahoy there, everybody. And the... Josh and Michelle as well. Bruno Flipper says tomorrow's cruise day, Allure of the Sea. Hey, hey Bruno, you're going to have a great time, yeah. man. Where are you going? Where are you going on Allure of the Seas? Cruising with Elena's here. Yo, girl. Paul Vines is hey. here. Lovey said Bob BQ. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't eat there, just no. to be honest. Mike and Brandy is here. Hey, Mike and Brandy, hey. how are you? Um, Tony said, I cruise anytime I can. Yeah. I understand that mentality, but for us, it isn't that mentality. So, uh, but I do understand it because we have made some last minute cruises before. Yeah. Right. I, I like that though because then you're real excited. Right. Lovey said, we do due to our son is out of school. See, and that makes sense. Mm. Right. If you have children, it makes sense to go in the summer because they're on vacation. Oh. So that makes no sense. That does make sense. Billy so like J said, I would cruise Alaska in summer or New England in Canada. Yeah. I don't know if we're interested in doing New England and Canada. Nah, I don't know. Maybe I mean, someday. Maybe someday, right. Maybe someday, honestly. I'm not going to, I mean, I used to say never, never about Alaska, but, you know, it's just like wrestling. You never say never. <laughs> never. Yeah. Dina Shin said, we do. Our kids don't miss out of school, right? Yeah. I think, see. They should just, see lots of people with families go. That's right. Uh, love it to hit that thumbs up. Hey, thanks, Lovey. Thanks, Lovey. Kim Taylor said, we love cruising in the summer. We love cruising any season. Okay. So, fair enough. Uh, Meg C says, too hot during summer to cruise. Plus, all the parents on my on my team are off vacationing with kids. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, Meg. Just Cody said, I don't like to cruise in the summer either for all the same reasons. Yes, Just Cody. Yeah. Definitely agree with you. Cruising in Atlanta said, we don't like cruising in summer for same reasons. Yes. Yeah. Janie Steele here hi um mike and brady said we have a cruise booked for november and february to get out of the cold yeah. yes that's what we do and that's what we really well like. we have a, two cruises booked in october yes yeah, so we'll february. be gone we'll be gone all the end of october and the beginning of november yeah so we will we won't be back and um but we will be back for my 40th birthday, which we are going to have a celebration live special on live for my 40th birthday. It's on Thanksgiving. Well, we'll do it like the day before or the day after. We could do it on My birthday is on Thanksgiving this year, guys, and I turn the big 4-0, yeah. Josh Halstead. Oh, so we're going to have a big birthday bash for you? I think so. Okay. Yep. Let's do it. And it, you, when you send the invites out, it says gift mandatory. So just letting you guys know that. It's a Patreon live. Yep. <laughs> 
That's a joke. Uh, Super Chat, you're not invited. Cruz, yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Cruz and Scene is here. Hey, hey. Cruz and Scene. Uh, Mel Weather says, hey, hey, Mel, you did write us a huge uh, book today yeah, underneath I'm, our thing, and we will respond to you. Yeah, Meg. We maybe we should just do it here on live. Yeah, it's about why I'll, I'll look it up and read. I didn't want to recruit Virgin. Right, um, it's a lot of working out. Looks like she said she don't get that. Oh, she don't see that. Okay, so that's what we'll talk about. Okay, Chris Elena said most important stuff for us: food, 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 balcony room must be must for hubby and casino spending money, but good. For sure, and room location, no noise. You know, I don't think we... I mean, we've had some that have been noisier than others, but I don't think it was ever a deal breaker. No. I mean, no. if you guys watch our last vlog, we had people yelling next to us. Right. And like you can't do nothing about that. It didn't bother us One, I remember one room, we were above the arcade, and we kept hearing the Pac-Man game our first room. The Pac-Man game cart kept on going... And then we were in another room... And the people sound like they were doing freaking cartwheels and jumping jacks upstairs. Yeah. You, so, but you can't do nothing about that. No, it's fine. So, uh, but yeah, Chris and Elena, um, I mean, the food, yes. The food options are very important for us on a cruise. Yeah. In my opinion. Well, we can, we like them, but it's not a deal breaker for us. No, but I think it's important. It is important. So, like, when we choose a ship, like, if I, like, I don't want to do an eight-day cruise. I mean, this kind of goes against what we've done, but we had to book it on those. But I don't want to do an eight-day or longer cruise on, like, the Legend or one of those smaller ships again. I just don't. Because... Well, we're going on an 11-day on what I, Miracle. Right, but that was because that was just the way it was. You know what I mean? I wouldn't do that we're on gonna a We're going to bring those protein bars and eat them. Ugh, those are sick. What about, What are those? Power bars. It's right. the chocolate chip kind. I like them. Yeah. They're great. Yep. Um, Cruz Elena said she loves the f- thumbnail. Janie Phil said, Kim Karn sings She's Got Betty Davis Eyes. See? But growing up, I always thought it was Rod Stewart because it does sound like Rod Stewart. I'm going to have to listen to it after this. Yep. Uh, Billy said, Josh should should sing Betty Davis Eyes for karaoke on the non. Did you like my rendition, Billy? <laughs> I bet you did. He'll sing that to you. And... And Billy J will shake you. <laughs> I just sold two things on eBay. Oh, Rock yeah. On. Uh, Bruno Fett said, the Galveston special cruise schedule. Rotan, Casa, Costa Maya, and Cozumel. Rotan's all right. Yeah. Costa Maya is um, okay. It depends how many other ships are there with Yeah, them. that's not my favorite. That's really down far on my list. No, not to be a downer. Cozumel, Love it. ding, 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 one of the best ports, in my opinion, honestly. Uh, Brad, 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 Brad Galen said, taking first cruise in October. I agree with later time of year because less kids. Your videos have been great help. Thank you. Hey, Brad, we appreciate Thanks. that. Um, like I said, thank you for joining the live, and uh, thank you for watching the videos. Yeah. Do you have any questions or any other thing that you want to hear us talk about? Just let us know in the comments. Yeah. Um, Lovey said, Patreon friendship for $499. Yeah. I mean, we wouldn't be the first cruising channel to, to do that. Oh, Josh. Oh, whoops. Did I say that? <laughs> Cruz Elena said, 40th. Woohoo! Yeah, definitely. Allie did. Allie D. I said, did. Allie did. Allie D said, hey, guys, I feel you, Josh. I turned 40 <laughs> in a couple of weeks. Yeah. But I don't feel like anything bad. Isn't it weird how you get older and you just don't feel? No. I'm I'm really nostalgic from things from, like, the 90s right now, though. And I have been for, like, the last three or four months. So maybe that's part of it, too. Isn't it I don't weird? Know. Like, our grandparents, your grandparents probably feel like, man, I don't feel any different. Why? Like, you know, you, your mind doesn't feel like you're old. Right. Mel Weird. said, I forgot y'all were still out. I was bored at home. No, it's fine, Mel. We appreciate the question on there, Mel. Honestly. Yeah, I love Rita it. Rita is here. Hey, Rita. What, what's up, cruise, cruisers? Good to see you. Hey, Rita. Rita, it's good to see you, too. I like, I want to start saying cruise nerds. Cruise nerds. I like saying nerds because they're righteous gems. So, what, yeah. nerds? <laughs> The latest episode of Righteous Gemstones, 
was a masterpiece. Yeah. It was hilarious, guys. If you guys aren't watching Righteous Gemstones, you should be. It's on HBO Max. Well, Max now. And it's on HBO. Just it's a phenomenal funny. We funny think it's show. funny. That's our kind of... That's our humor. Yeah. It's really funny, man. Judy Gemstone, masterpiece of a character. And also a masterpiece of character, Baby Billy Freeman. He got a new song. <laughs> <laughs> Payday. <laughs> uh, Billy J says, gift mandatory. Maybe I can get Pal Panera to autograph an 8x10 for you. I'll probably have to slip him a few P- Benjamins. <laughs> I no doubt you'll have to slip him a few Benjamins. Right. Kim Taylor says, on our cruise last month, our neighbors screamed at each other on their balcony late at night all week long. Oh, so that's a that's a special thing to listen to. No doubt. Uh, Mary Ellen Dillon is here. Let me said, maybe Pal Panera will sign a Monopoly for you on the 40th. Well, thanks, thanks, Mike. Yeah, maybe he will. Kristen Johansson said, I'm here. I just have one question. Sure. I paid for my passport back in, I think, May. I know it takes at least 13 weeks to get it. But when I looked it up on the website, it says no information. Ooh. I don't know because I've never had that happen. Does do you think you can cruise without? I saw people in the comments say that you can cruise without. You can cruise without a passport. I wouldn't recommend it. But, but you, you may could. you may want to call. Is there a number to call? Is there a number? To, if there's a number to call, don't be like Michelle and try to do every other thing but call. And then you realize calling was the easiest solution to begin with. Well, I listen. I do have to change my name here, and I haven't done it yet on the passport, so I gotta do that this week. I just slammed my hand on my head, and my ring just put a dent in my head. It's probably gonna say Unity. Unity. Yeah, because that was on Chappelle's show. Uh, um, but yeah, so that sounds like it could be precarious. I hope Kristen, you have your pet. Uh, but I would definitely call, and I would definitely do more research on it. Let us know how it goes. If you don't belong to our Facebook. Group, uh, Kristen, go in there. Imagine join head cruising group. Someone post it for us. Lovey, will you post the link to our Facebook group? Lovey's the only Lovey's admin. the only mod in here right now. So, Lovey, please do that and uh, go check it out. And let us know how that goes because I'm interested. We didn't have any issues with ours. No. So, also, if anybody's here flying, if you fly at least once a year, pre-check. you should definitely be getting TSA pre-check, people. Eighty dollars. I was shooting them for fifty for well, not for fifty. Eighty dollars for five years, worth it. Worth every penny, guys. No doubt. Yeah, okay. I hope that all works out for you. Yeah, I do too. Rita says I'm thinking maybe November for our cruise. Yeah, oh. November's good. November is good. It's near the end of your hurricane season, which I... we've cruised in November a couple of times, and we've really enjoyed it. Yeah. The water is still pretty warm too in the ocean because it's coming off of. It's not getting, like, colder yet. I mean, yeah. it is a little bit, but... It's usually Chris, nice. Kristen says, I'm a little worried, but I have my receipt. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, I definitely would contact somebody and try to figure it out as yeah. soon as possible. Yeah. Don't be like Michelle. Don't so. wait till I finish. That's right. Don't be like Michelle. I will. Um, Mary Ellen Dillon said, but it's always better to have a password. It that's is right. Always and Lovey said, have one. you don't need one. But yeah. No, that is right. You don't need one. But also, it's something that we've been, I just been seeing a lot of is people are showing the lines for people with birth certificates, and the lines are humongous. They're insanely long. So, long. If you just get a passport. It's not that big of a deal, guys. And it's just really helpful, right, Michelle? Yeah, it is like 120 bucks or something. I know, but. I don't know, I'm just telling you. That's I think it's it worth the money. Jeez, and if you get married, just don't change your last name. That's my recommendation. Right. Like I said, if you fly at least once a year, get TSA pre-check, guys. You guys will thank us for that. Um, unless there's people in front of you that are, like, with kids, and then they get annoying, honestly. Because, oh, then the people will be yelling at them. Yeah, now listen, not us. The no. people running it are yelling at you. They're like, get your kids together. This is pre-check. You're supposed to go fast. Yep. When you get in pre-check, you better have your stuff around because they don't mess around. Believe me. I was irritated with them kids. Oh, God. But shit. I was like, how are you going to bring snacks and eat them in line? Come on. No. Get, put it get away. That get that water out of here. Yeah. 
This is ridiculous. Steve and Lisa said, hey, hey, we almost missed this. Hello from your friends from Canada. Hey, Steve and Lisa. Um, Lovey said, happy Canada Day. What does that, that mean, Steve? Kristen, Kristen oh, said. Oh, Steve and Lisa are here. Yeah, I just said that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you saw that, Steve. We did make you a group expert this week in the group on Facebook. You're moving on up, Steve. In the world. Um, that's right. <laughs> Adventures Ahead recognizes you. That's special. He, so, yeah. That's lovely. He's been recognized by us. He's not a group expert. No. <laughs> no. Kristen said, I did try calling. Maybe I'll go back to the post office. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, I would do everything you can, Kristen, honestly. And, yeah, because ours took about 90 days. Wasn't yeah. that right? Three months? No. Ours is quick. Two months. 50 days. Well, we did ours back in 2016. Oh, yeah. We did it early. It was quick. Yeah, we did it early. Um, Billy J said, Michelle, I don't like to call either unless I have to. Introvert. Yeah, but just get it done. I know, but you don't understand if introverts (laughs) issue. Dina Shania said, Will renewed his passport early last December and got his near the end of January. Okay. R2-D3 says, love my TSA pass. Yes. So good. Worth every... $80 for five years, people? Well, and like, to put that in perspective, somebody else already said this in the chat, that money for your passport is good for 10 years. Right. 10 years for $120. Like, yeah. why would you do it? Whoa. I almost pulled this cord. I almost pulled this phone out of the thing. Holster. I bet your mom's looking out the window. She's probably like, what are they doing? Uh, Marilyn Nelson says, the post office won't know anything. I'd call again, Kristen. Okay, oh, there you go, Marilyn. We have people that can help you here, Kristen. Just don't listen to Lovey. Who's high up in the government here? Paul said, Billy just likes to prank call them, yeah. <laughs> Steve Lisa said, next Saturday we will be in Baltimore, maybe having a crab cake waiting to get on a legend. Next you better be going to... G&M. G&M. Who is that? Steve and Lisa. Ooh. Mike... You guys will love G&M when you guys go there with us. Bill and Amanda's not allowed to come. <laughs> Stop. JB Odyssey says, hey, Adventures Hey, JB hey, Odyssey. Hey, How welcome. are you guys doing tonight? Hey, go check out their channel. Mike, thank you for posting the link to our Facebook page in here, buddy. I appreciate that. JB Odyssey got up the celebration uh, maybe like a month ago now. Yep. We have reached Lovey's Fat Life numbers right now. Just letting you know that. Woo. We've reached Lovey's Fat Life rating. <laughs> Shelly said, my mom had an ex- expedite, expedite. expedite hers after going months not listening to me. Cost her $250. Listen, I'm going to have to expedite mine, too. Why? Well, I, how many days before why? I cruise? Listen, though. Why are you taking 112 days? I'm going to expedite it. Why did you take so long? Because I had to change my name at all these different places. Okay, I worked honey. third shift. Mary Ellen Dunn said, the passport money is for 10 years worth the cost. Yes. Kathleen Woolrum's here. Oh, can hey, you guys Kathleen. hear us okay? I'm hooked up to the car. Evidently, they can hear us fine. <laughs> so you are. I'm a mess. Rita said, taking some of my older grands, one graduated college and the other graduated high school. Okay, that's cool. Very That'll cool. be a fun trip. That'll be a really fun trip. Lovey said, unless you have kids, four or five years. Oh, that's how good the passports are good for. Lovey said, we have to renew our son's passport. Okay. Uh, Meg said, introvert issues are real. If only we liked people, then we could get together to talk about them. Well, Michelle has to work with people, like, every day. So she has to force herself to be around people. Janie Steele said, our passports took five weeks last year. I didn't pay to expedite either. Wow. Maybe you could get it done. I'm an expedite. I don't care. Let me say, kids' passports are good for five years. Okay. Lovey said, not quiet. What's that mean? Wait, what's that? Not, not qu- quiet? Yeah, we did, you? Lovey. We hit him. Oh, fireworks. Uh, well, Lovey did have every gimmick in the book, though. Yeah, what cruise are they both? I have no idea. I didn't go back and look at it. Uh, Simanjara's here. Hey, Simanjara. And, yeah, so, so yeah, I mean. What other things are important to you on a cruise? Like, Elena said food, food, food. Yeah. You said food options are good. Yep. What's something important to you? I'm going to eat a no-bake cookie. <laughs> What's something to you? How about you take over the chat? 
I, uh, I think, well, number one, price is important. I think it does matter, like, we try to book something with a deal, so, like, we can get a better casino rate, we get better offers, some onboard credit, all that stuff. I think that's super important, so, these fireworks going off, these kids about to be crying up here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, fireworks are popping off. Yeah. Um, what else is important? I think the ship is important to yep. me. Yes. Um, cause you know, really if there's too crowded of a ship, it's going to probably ruin your whole experience. I think. Yeah. Do you think when you look at a cruise, <clears throat> out of these three options, what do you look at first? Where it's sailing out of, what ship it is, or what port it's going to? Or the cost, out of those four options. Well, really, I would look at the ship first. Mm. What would you look at first? I think I'm looking at the ship first. And then I'm looking at the cost. Yep. And then I'm looking at where it's sailing out of. Yeah. And then I'm looking at the ports. I think the ports are kind of, like, since we've been on so many cruises, the ports now are kind of, like, less. Unless it's places I've never been before. That's right. Like, you know, I just told you guys I want to go to Antarctica. Yeah. Tell people why you want to go there, honestly. Tell people why you want to go there. Oh, America. because it just looks so cool. Like, the adventure getting there looks amazing. And then also, like, there's just, it's like, I don't know how to say this. Like, there's, like, not a lot of people have been there. So it just is really curious to me. I think it looks amazing. Hmm. Okay. It's like a real adventure. That's what it seems like to me. Yeah, freeze your butt off. <laughs> They have this thing where you can jump in the ocean? No. Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. Yeah. So you would? Yeah. Heck yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, what, because it's water that not many people have been in or something? Yeah. No. I would love it. Okay. So, Lou said, Ex expedite better safe than sorry, Michelle. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to have to expedite it. Our cruise is 112 days away. I got to. Mel Weather says, same. I like my customer service online. I screenshot all of it, too, so I won't forget it. Yeah, if I'm texting, that's the best. <laughs> Tony G said, I tend to choose the cruise line and ship first. Mm. Yeah. Yep. I think we... I mean, we've only cruised Carnival, so... Right. And I think, like... I think... Now, on some, we're like, hey, these port stops look really cool. You know. Yeah, like, we really wanted to go back to Aruba. Yeah. So, that was important to us. The Head Moon Key is always a great bonus when that's part of it. If it's, like, stuff we've already been there, it's, like, whatever to me. Right. Like, I'm well, happy to go there. Well, like I was telling her, I'm like, man, we don't have Cozumel booked for anything, but then we're now we're going to book one next year, and Cosmo will be on the docket. So, that'll be nice, because we really enjoy Cosmo, yeah. guys. Steve and Lisa said, we usually, oh, Shelly Lou said sailing port, ship, cost, destination for me. Yeah, yeah. Like destination is like, you know. Steve and Lisa said, we usually look at where it sails out of, then the ship. Ports don't really matter anymore. Yeah, yep, I agree. Yeah. If there's places that you've been a lot, it doesn't matter. Like at first, when you're, I think when you're a first cruiser, you're like, mm -hmm. I want to go to all these places, which is cool. Yeah. And you should be like that. And then once you start cruising more, it's like, well, really it's, not the destination, it's the way to get there. Right. Uh, Kevin Warren said, ship cost itinerary dates. So, there's uh, that. No. Billy J said, port, ship, cost, and destination for the captain. Um, Jane still said, we're going to Bermuda September 2024. We've never been. Well, we're going to Bermuda. Yeah. When? Nice. September. Well, they are, too. Who? Janie Steele. We're Wait. going to Bermuda September 2024. We've never been. Yeah, we are, too. Wait, Janie, when are you going? When are you, are you going? Are you going with us? I don't even remember. Well, Lovey's going on that, too. It's a Bill and Amanda. Cruising with Elena said, price, yes. A deal is good. Port is important. Yes. So, Lou said, minus 71 Whoa. days away, so my mom is cutting it close. Yeah, that is. Yeah. It's dark here. Somebody just said, man, it's dark here. Yeah, we're in 
Toledo. It gets, dude, last time we were up north, I think we still had light left. We had light till 10. Yeah. Catherine Holmes said, I mean, port cost itinerary date. Okay. Brad said, pick the sunshine in Charleston for my first cruise in October because it's close driving distance to me. Yeah. Heard it's leaving Charleston next year, though, so I guess I'll be figuring out other ports. Yes. Well, it's going to Norfolk. It's going to Norfolk. Um, so, yeah. So, Brad, you won't have any. You said it's your first cruise. So, you won't have anything to compare it to, but Charleston's port of sailing out of is screwy. But it won't be anything for you because it'll be your first one. So, it won't be screwy to you. Right. But once you go to other ports like Port Canaveral or Miami or whatever... It's it's way different yeah. than Charleston. Just know Charleston's port that you sail out of is not the norm. That's not the norm yeah. at all. Just know that, Brad. Um, we've sailed out of there Pack twice. Have your patience. Right. We've sailed out of there twice. The um, first time was way better. Right. So we and so, um, it is Sunshine is a good ship. Yeah. We have a whole video of pros and cons. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of videos on the Sunshine. Well, not a ton, I guess, but no. we do have some. Go check them out, Brad, if you if you haven't yet. If you have any questions about the sun, sunshine, we can help you out here. Remember that time we were on that ship with Brian and Deb, and the singer said, sunshine? Yeah, sun, sunshine, sunshine. Sunshine. Kim Taylor says, we are booked on the horizon in 77 days. Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao. Oh. Ca Curacao has eluded us. Yeah. So that'll be half the one that we're going to have to go to. St. Yeah. Thomas has eluded us until October. Yeah, we'll be going there. So... Um, but that's an awesome Aruba. Like we've done the tour, we've done the what was the other thing we just did? Oh, we did a private thing there. Next time we go to Aruba, I feel like I want me and Michelle just to explore our own. Yeah. That's what, next time I go to Aruba. We're gonna explore that's what I'll do. on our own. In Bonaire, I don't know what I'd do in Bonaire next time. Uh, I'd rent a golf cart probably because that's great. Allie D said, "Wow, it's dark by you already. Still light here. Campground is bumping." Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yep. That's what you get for being in Ohio. So. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Cruising with Atlanta said, Carnival gives less deals, so we try and other like Royal and Celebrity. Oh. Okay. Well, Celebrity isn't a cheap cruise line, no. I've heard. But it looks really nice. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, there's a cat. Whoa. <laughs> oh. There's, there's a kitty cat. Oh, he's oh, he's just hanging out. He's an orange kitty cat, Tabby. guys. Tabby. Tabby Cat. He's going to be on a short on our channel, so be a lot of lookout for that. Josh going to be holding it. Yep, I'll be holding him. Oh, the light's on. That's Shelly Lou said, light. Josh looks like he is sporting some mistletoe above his head. It's a poppy. It's a poppy. Um, Janie Steele said, September 22nd, 2024. I, what's our cruise? I think that's the same date. No way. Is it? I'm looking right now, Janie Steele. Pride. Wait, what one's that on? It's on the, the pride. pride. Nope, October 6th. Oh, dang. October 6th, Janie Steele. So, oh, sorry, you. sorry, Janie Steele. October 6th on the Pride. But, um, it's out of Baltimore. You should go to GNM. Yeah, go to Get G the crab cake. You will not be. There's no way Mike could give this a bad rating. I'm sure he'll find a way. He'll find a way. He'll say, this had too much crab in it for me. This was really crabby. <laughs> crab cake? <laughs> um, My mom made these no base and they're killer. Yeah. This they one's, did. yeah. This one's what? Crumbling? A little dry. Oh, um, well. But it's kind of getting older. Thanks for the said, cruise line, dates, ports, then terminal. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, Brad said, okay, good to know. I, I've heard other people say the same about Charleston Port. Yes, it, like you said, like Michelle said, pack your patience. It has a lot of, it had, no, I can't. I can't see. It has a lot of, um, waiting and stuff, but you'll get on the ship and you'll have a good time. Wow. And like I said, Brad, um, once you're on that ship, make sure you eat Gigi's for dinner and... Kachina for dinner. Yeah, and lunch. And lunch. It's good, man. Yeah. It definitely did Gigi's and Kachina for dinner. Lunch, give or take. But dinner, you should definitely book that and go eat at those two places. It's it's awesome. Um, Lovey said, 
debarkation port ports ship. Okay, lovey. De- oh, debarkation port. Yep. The ports and the ship. Yeah. Causes no issue for Mike. Yeah. Apparently. Yep. No no issue for this guy. Lovey, we have went over your numbers right now. <laughs> We're over. So quit bragging, quit flexing. <laughs> Saying not quite. We quit flexing. Stephen Lisa said, Is Bonaire where you rented the golf cart with yeah. M and M? Yes. And it was awesome. I don't know if you It's M M A. Mike Michelle Anthony. Oh yeah, Mike Michelle Anthony, yes. Um Yeah, it was great. You should do it. So, oh, Mike's still flexing. He said, nope, 54. Well, Mike, Whatever, Mike. Um, first time he's ever had 54 people on his live, and he's I'm, over here flexing, like, oh, I got 54 one time. Um, <laughs> Poor Mike. Dang, never seen someone so excited to see a cat. We love cats. We're lovers of animals, yes, Mike. Mike. You're over here cussing about your dogs every day. <laughs> Bruno Flipper said, Curacao is our favorite. Well, we'll have to go to Curacao. Yeah, Curacao's. we can't wait. Yeah, we're going to have to book that one. No Oh, my doubt. gosh. Lovey's trying to at everyone. Oh. I hate that. Mike Loveless is one of these guys that tries to get everybody to look at his stuff on his Facebook page by adding everyone. And it's a very annoying I'll tactic. I'll be your page if you do it's that. It's a very annoying tactic. Billy J. Yeah, Billy J <laughs> does it, too. Like, dude. Like, why add everyone? It's annoying. Don't, I don't, don't, I don't do like it. it. At don't first do I it. thought it was cool, and now I hate it. Yeah, yeah, that seriously is really <laughs> annoying, honestly. Um, but, yeah, so what else, Michelle? Wait, what did, what did you say? Insert eye roll. roll here to Josh, yeah. Billy's laughing. Yeah, I mean, it is very annoying. Like, I'll, I've left a lot of pages because of it. She me. sure has. <laughs> I don't care. No, we don't give a, we don't give a heck. Um... Kim Taylor says, we booked an all-inclusive resort in Curacao. It was pricey, but looks awesome. That's hey, great. We did a, in Aruba, we did a, I guess it wasn't all-inclusive, was it? Yeah, I guess it was. It was. It was all right. It was like a long way to get there. Yeah, yeah. I didn't care for it. I'd never, it was a one and done yeah. for me. I don't know how you felt. Never go. Okay, yeah, I would never go back. It was there. a good time when we were there. Right, we were there with Mike Michelle and Anthony. It was fine, but it was a one and done for me for sure. And I think Mike felt the same way. Yeah, we just didn't care it was for like it. Like an hour's worth of transportation. Yep. Which, yep. not our jam. Yeah, we don't like that. Um, Mana Francis is here. She says hi all from the magic my last night. Well, oh. our friend Amanda. Frances has been on the Magic for last week. She's in the casino. Amanda, we better have a slew of shorts you're going to send us when you she get back. She did send me some already. Well, I want more. <laughs> um, <laughs> just Cody says, was the calamari Josh had at the Italian restaurant free? Just wondering. I never noticed them as an option the last time I went, but they looked amazing to me. Thanks. No, that is an appetizer. Well, well, you pay for your dinner. It's eighteen dollars a person. Right, so and it's worth every penny, no matter what Billy J says. You, you can get an appetizer and a salad, a main, a side, and a dessert. Right. You get a lot of food right there. Yeah. Amanda, we're glad that you had a great time. Amanda's in the casino right now. Did you win any good wins, Amanda, or no? No, they all did bad. She told me yesterday. Oh. Her whole family. Horrible. Horrible. Uh, Brad said, "My." Port stops are Nassau and Half Moon K. I've gathered a consensus. People aren't big on Nassau. As a first timer, though, are there things I should do in Nassau? Hey, yes. Yeah. So there's so, lots of fun stuff to do. In Brad, Nassau. I'm glad you're here tonight. You have a lot of good questions uh, for a first timer, and we appreciate those. Brad, are you subscribed to our Facebook page? If well, you they are have not. to be to to comment. Facebook, I said. Oh, our Facebook. Sorry. You should go join our Facebook page, and any questions you want to ask, you can ask in there. We haven't done this, but our good friend Mike has a video about the fish fry um, in NASA. But it's, I wouldn't go. I, I, but first as a time, first time, I wouldn't go there. I know, so I don't know why you mentioned that. Well, I'm just saying it's something to do. And also, I wouldn't go to Margaritaville. That's way too expensive for a first time. First time, I think you should go there. Get a tour. Check out the market. No, check out oh, the, the, the straw market. The straw market. Walk around a little bit. It's all new. So uh-huh. NASA has a lot to offer, honestly. We don't care for it because we've been there so many times. 
But Straw Market, check that out. Maybe walk over to the Queen's Staircase, check that we out. We did it. The th- really the cool thing is we went to um, John Watley. John Watley's distillery. distillery. That was really cool. There's that like a cool. rum cake little factory. There's like tasting of different liquors. And you can kind of do all this on your own. Like you don't have to book an excursion. So, and then you could end over at the fish fry or yeah. whatever later. But I definitely recommend it. You can walk to these places, Brad, or you can take a taxi. It's easy. Um, I definitely recommend maybe just doing your own thing, or you could book a tour yeah. with Carnival, which would be fine too, because when we go to a port for the first time, Brad, we like to book a tour yeah, just to get an idea of the area. There is lots do. of stuff to do in Nassau there. Yeah, a ton There's of There's a stuff. pirate museum. We haven't been there, but people Oh, love there it. is a uh, Frogs, Senior, Senior frogs. frogs. We've been there. That was fun. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. God. They got boomers out here tonight. <laughs> Big boomers. These kids are up there crying. I already know. Yeah. Um, Half Moon Key, amazing. All I would recommend there, if you're not, if you if you can't handle the sun for too long, I recommend renting a clamshell at yeah. Half Moon Key. If not, get a um, rash guard. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of sun there, and there's not a lot of cover. Yeah. And um, walk down the beach. You can walk. The further you walk, the better it is, in my opinion. You can if take you a shuttle. Stay, yeah, if you stay really close, it's just a lot more people. I would walk down the beach quite a ways and grab a chair. Um, Brad, uh, we've been there, what, three, four times? Four. Four. It's amazing. We love it, Brad. So, um, awesome. Appreciate the question. Yeah. Cruz Elena said, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, we love the magic, too. Amanda said, no, I didn't win, but I haven't lost as much as Bill, even, if I still keep charging my card yeah well i'm sure bill's lost enough at home let alone what you lost so uh so you said nassau was fun for me loved the shops yeah the first couple times we went to nassau we liked it yeah but we didn't want to go lazy back. too so we just stay on the ship we didn't want to go back so it's well the last rainy. time we went there it was sprinkling and it was real muggy so we said no not an option for us um, Brad said, yes, I am on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you, Brad. Appreciate that. Kim Taylor said, Nassau has been through renovations. It's so much better now. Yes. That's why I said I want to check out the new yeah. area for sure. Um, Lovey said, I thought he was going to ask to sub to Real Dead or Adventures Ahead. No. But we do have, me and Mike do have a channel called Real Dead if you're into horror. Yeah. Go check that out. Mike, you can put that. Link in the description as well for Real Dead if people want to go sub to Real Dead. This Friday coming up, we are doing, me and Mike are doing a live show talking about Jaws. And it is Shark Week, by the way. So this coming Friday, we're going to do a live show talking about Jaws. Watch the movie. Join us for the conversation. It's going to be a lot of fun over there on Real Dead. Um, Man said, I'm drinking the Amanda drink, Grey Goose and Ginger Ale. I don't know. That sounds sick. It settles her stomach. Stephen Lisa said, on the celebration, the, the Kachina is free. In fact, you can order MDR Elegant Night Lobster in, in the Kachina if you prefer more private seat seating. Okay. That is a good pro well, tip. Because it is on the Mardi Gras too, right? Right. Steve, um, right. On the Sunshine, it's not free, though. No, it's and not. And that's the ship that he's going to be sailing on. But the celebration, you're right. The Kachina is free, and it is also on the Mardi Gras. So... And it is good. I like it free or not free. They're both good. Amanda said, go to the private brewery in Nassau. It's on the first block, like two blocks down to the right. So, Brad, what I'm going to tell you is don't plan too much stuff for Nassau. Yeah. You want to, don't over, don't ever overload yourself. Yeah. Um, and you I know you, leave. it's your first cruise, so... You don't want to feel overwhelmed. Like, I got to do this. I got to do that. You don't want to be like that. Be flexible. Right. You want to be able to just let it go with the flow, Brad, to be honest. Steve and Lisa said, but that is a good that is a good recommendation by Amanda. Amanda is one of our mods. She is a group expert um, in, event, in Adventure on Facebook. So she does have good information. Steve and Lisa said, we took your advice last week and rented a clamshell. We love it. Great job, Steve and Lisa. We have it one for ours, too. Shelly Lou said, yeah, Half Moon K is packed up close, but if you walk down there, our chair's under the palm trees. Cool. Yeah. Yep. 
Uh, love he's laughing. Megs and C says, looking forward to being in Nassau in December. Always been when it's super duper hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It won't be as hot then. We've been in December. So, uh, what? I'm just reading. I mean, a friend says, if you get a clamshell on Half Moon K, get off ASAP. Don't do what we did there. We're all gone. Hit. Oh. All gone, hit, we got our money back. I made a lovey mistake. Wow, yeah. that's Wait, good. why did you wait so long? Well, and why were they all gone? Yeah, you but... You rented it. I know, but... Yeah, why did you wait so long, Amanda? Yeah, you did make a lovey mistake. <laughs> also, I saw a picture of a guy um, today. He had his luggage rolling, a uh, rolling luggage on a beach. Oh. And I said, this is how you know it's a cruise, cruise first-timer. And I said... And then I tagged him, but Mike wasn't a part of the group. I said, Mike Lovelace, <laughs> is that you? Tearing your rolling luggage down the beach. That's terrible. Lovey put the horror channel real dead up there, so you don't have to, but it's a horror channel. Me and Mike like to discuss movies and different things. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Lovey said, we like Nassau. Just don't like the pushy people putting bracelets on your wrist. Yeah, for, for donation. Shop. Yeah, so if they try to put a, a bracelet on your don't. wrist, and they will. They're going to try to tie they it right take on. take it. Yeah, they're going to yeah. come right to you. Don't let them do it. Say, please, no, thank you. I don't want it. Don't let them tie anything on you. because Yes, they will, Brad. Pay. They will. Don't don't fall for it. It's all scams. Mary Ellen Dillon said, Kachina is free the first time on Mardi Gras. Think they charge after that. Celebration oh. is free all the time. Really? Huh. Well, it's changed since we were on the Mardi Gras. Yeah, though. that's good to know. Amanda says, I'm a pro cruiser. Just hit my 10th cruise on, on this cruise. No, Amanda, does that mean you're a pro cruiser? I don't know yet. Uh, if you made that noob mistake, how are you a pro cruiser, Amanda? At Half Moon K, you made a noob mistake. A Mike Loveless. Yeah. That, so I don't know how, how much of a pro you are, Amanda. Brad said, I like going with the flow and taking my time, so definitely not a big over planner. Thanks for all the tips and suggestions. Yeah. No problem, Brad. We really enjoy doing that. Lovey said, Laugh out loud, Amanda. Those darn tickets have the wrong time. Oh. He and Lisa said, first time renting the clamshell at Half Moon, but they said they are assigned now and we can't pick. Not sure if this is firm or maybe they will let you let us go further down. No, there's the clamshell <laughs> or did you rent a uh, cabana? Cabana. How much did you pay for this, Steve and Lisa? Yeah, because... Uh, if it was $500, you got a cabana. <laughs> if it was $50, you got a clamshell. Oh, uh, okay. So, Amanda said, yeah, it's confusing if you listen to the cruise director. Love you. Yeah, well, you don't listen to the cruise director. You look at your ticket, and you go well, by the ticket. Well, so the ticket says 930, and you could actually get up at 730. Oh, Yeah. Well, we go do whatever we want anyway. We always try to get off. Yeah, early. we always go to pre-boarding. And they like, listen, this is all you do. Listen, me and Michelle have done this. Then it's flipping <laughs> matter. You go to pre-boarding, like to get on to get onto the thing early. Got my ticket. You say, got, you show tickets. You don't have to show them what it is. You walk right in there. Believe me. Wait, done it. a seat of Lisa said 100% it's a clamshell. And they said they're assigned. No way. They're not that organized. They don't even have these clamshells set up. No, they're never you set up all the way. You gotta find a dude to set Listen, it up. Well, sometimes some are set up, but they're not all set up. No way they're that organized, Steve and Lisa. Yeah. Um, Amanda, were they all set up when you got there? Well, of course you got off three hours yeah, late. Yeah, they're all set up and taken. You probably were like, I gotta have this. I gotta order my pre-breakfast, and then I gotta go have breakfast. Then I gotta go have. <laughs> Leave then I gotta go to brunch, and then we'll get off the ship. Okay, guys, free breakfast. Amanda says the they're not assigned. Yep. I know they're not. That's bull crap. That sucks, Amanda. Um. <laughs> Brad said the bracelet thing sounds like what they do in Vegas. Yeah. Okay, well. Yeah, just tell them no, Brad. Marilyn then said, yes, that was a recent change. Ah. Lovey said, tickets at 930, and you could actually get off at 7, 730 for first tender. Steven said, 100%, it is a clamshell. It said they are assigned. Yeah. Lovey said, rule breakers. No doubt, <laughs> Lovey. Follow us, kid. We'll keep you there. Amanda said, they were not assigned. Yeah, Meg and Jesus see. said, a client clearance would be a logistical nightmare. What did you say? Logistical. It's logistical. Nightmare. And I agree with that. It would be a nightmare. Yeah. Um, I don't know how they would do that. 
because every time you got guys just trying to set them up for you, right? Yeah, it's always a mess. And they're, yeah. Yeah. Now, now the cabanas are all organized. and Yeah, and you do have to pick that, but not until you get on the ship. Yeah, I don't see that happening unless they made major changes. No. Um. So, yeah. We'll see. I don't, yeah. I mean, that's interesting, though, Steve and Lisa. Yeah. Did, did you say that ours was assigned? No. We rented one. Yeah, we rented one for November. And it didn't say a sign. Uh-uh. So that is interesting We'll there. tell you. Well, you guys are probably going before us. So. Yeah, so. But, hey, we've had a good show. Yeah, I think we're going to get off here yeah. and go back in the house. Yep. I'm um, going to go back in the bedroom, ignore everyone. Stop it. Just we hope kidding. everybody has a good holiday, um, whether you're from Canada or the U.S. The U.S. Yeah, so we Canada, hope. Canada Day. Yeah, yeah. And then later this week is 4th of July. Yep, so. yep. Fourth of July. Yeah. Um, we're not big Fourth of July celebrators. We don't do fireworks. No, nah, we're not into fireworks. Yeah. So we don't really care about that. I mean, we celebrate it, but we don't like go all out like fireworks and all this stuff. No. No. So, okay, all guys. Right. Hopefully everybody has a good week. Yep. And we'll be talking to you later. Yep. Next week, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye.